Hello, today I decided to make something sweet. So I'm going to make some cowboy cookies. Let's get started. So I have a cup of sweetened coconut. I'm just going to put it on this baking sheet. Spread it out a little bit. I have three-fourths of a cup of chopped pecan. And chop them with a knife. Don't, don't put them in the, uh, the chopper because it may chop them too fine. You want a little bite for these. And I'm going to put these in the oven on 350 and I'm going to bake them for about 6-7 minutes. It took about 10 minutes. It took a little longer than I um, anticipated. And everything is nice and toasty. You have to keep an eye on it though. Because it's very easy to burn and then you have to start over and you'll be mad. <laughs> these are toasted perfectly. Okay. I have a cup and a half of brown sugar. I'm going to put it in. And I also have a half a cup of white sugar. I have two sticks of softened butter. I'm just going to get it in. And then we're going to cream this together. Gonna take a minute or two. Well, more than a minute. You just mix and mix until you get this nice and creamy, okay? So don't sweat it. Just make sure that the butter and the sugar is mixed together. And I have two eggs here. I'm gonna add in the two eggs. And I have my vanilla extract. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon and a half, maybe two. We're going to get this mixed together. So here I have two cups of all-purpose flour. I'm going to get, I'm try to add it in a little at a time. And I have um, a half a teaspoon of salt. So I'll go ahead and put that in. I have a teaspoon of baking soda. Get that in. We're just going to mix this. When we get this mixed, we're going to add more of the flour and continue to do that until it's all incorporated. Going to add the last bit in. So it's going to get really heavy as you stir because we're making cookie dough. I'm going to get this mixed in well. Make sure you mix, mix it well. These are going to be the best cowboy cookies you've ever had. Trust me. Now here, here's where the work comes in. we got a lot more to add in. I have two cups of oatmeal. We're going to do these the same way we did the flour. I'm going to add some and then stir it together. Now I have two cups of chocolate chips. And I also, you might see it in there, I had some Heath Bits that I had. Just a few left, so I added them in. And we're going to do the same thing with this right here. I'm getting happy. I'm just like a kid when it comes to cookies. I love cookies, amongst other sweets. Might be a good thing, might be a bad thing, but I love them. So we're going to get these mixed in. And so now we're going to add our coconut. This was a cup, if I didn't say, a cup of coconut and three-fourths of a cup of pecans, 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 and um, like I said, just chop them up. You don't want to chop them too fine. When you bite into the cookie, you want to bite into a pecan, pecan, pecan. And if you didn't have your workout today, I'm sorry, you couldn't see. If you didn't have your workout today, you will have it if you make these cookies because this is a workout. 
getting these together, but trust me, it's well worth it. Let's get this all mixed up. You might have to call the husband in on this one to help you do this dough, but it's, it's together enough for me. Isn't that beautiful? Looks delicious, huh? Okay. Well, this is a lot of cookie dough. I'm not going to use nearly most of it. I'm just going to cook a few cookies. That's enough for us. About six. And then I'm going to take the rest and I'm going to form it into a, a log. And I'm going to wrap it with um, with clear wrap. And I'm going to put it in the fridge. And every time he hollers cookie, I'm going to slice them and bake them. So my oven is heated at 350. And I'm going to put a little bit of this non-stick spray on my hand. And I'm going to use this scooper. You don't really have to, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to roll this into a ball and just place it onto the cookie sheet, which I have wiped with um, with some non-stick spray as well. Just going to get these, all six of these done. We're going into the oven. Don't be some good cookies, y'all. Don't forget to give them some space to spread out, okay? melting already. I have it on the top of this hot stove. I'm going to go on in and I'm going to cook these for about 12, 13 minutes or until done. You'll know. Your nose will tell you. These are going to be some good cookies once again. Mm -hmm. Okay, I bake these cookies on 350 for um, about 15 minutes because I like them to be like brown. And we're going to let these cool and I'm going to break them open and taste them. And I think I should mention that if you want them, you like a soft cookie, then cook them for a couple minutes less. They're still nice and warm. Oh, hey. Mm-hmm. Let me give this a taste. Mm-hmm. 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 Am I dancing? Yes. Why? Because they are delicious. Mm-hmm. Hey. I love you. And thanks so much for watching. Remember to pray. Stay safe. Stay well. And stay blessed. And until next time. Make you some cookies. Later. Mm-hmm. Let me see if I I'm gone.